Employers of Reddit, what is something that an employee did that resulted in immediate termination due to sheer unprofessionalism? There was this one customer he refused to help, he always called someone else. One day no one could stop what they were doing so he had to take a dollar bill from said customer. He laid it flat on the counter and sprayed it on both sides with Lysol until there was a literal puddle on the desk as the customer stood there waiting for his change. That was the final straw with that one. Bartender I know served free drinks and hit on a group 2 girls while ignoring the rest of the restaurant. He tried to get them to go to a club with him when he was off and do blow. Probably wouldn't have been too quick to fire him if the girls weren't secret shoppers. Young guy on his first day left during his 20 minute break and didn't come back until almost 3 hours later. When questioned he said my friends invited me to breakfast so he went out to a restaurant to have breakfast with them and came back to work after. He was told he can't do that you only get 20 minutes he said oh sorry this is my first job I've ever had. Next day he disappears after first break again and comes back about 2-3 hours later and says he went out for breakfast with his friends again like it was no big deal. Fired on the spot, to clear things up for some people. The 20 minutes was for the first break of the day we had another break later that was 30 minutes long a total of 50 minutes of break and an 8 hour shift. 30 minutes is a legal requirement here in Ontario for a period of 8 working hours. The actual law states that workers cannot work for 5 hours without 30 minutes of break to eat. Therefore most companies will make that break happen at a time so when it's over there are less than 5 hours left and the shift by doing this they can legally only let employees have 30 minutes total because of the loophole of not having another 5 hours worked consecutively. It's pretty crappy of most places to do but it does not break the law to do this. Really nice for being understanding for the first time. People can be very clueless about obvious things sometimes so I think explaining that was not okay and letting him have a second chance was super nice. We had a guy who worked with us who had brain damage. Management let him get away with a lot out of fear of a lawsuit. Mainly, he liked bragging about how many girls asses he'd touched. He'd apparently just walk up to girls in public and grab their butts, then come into work and brag about it. While it's kinda skeevy, you can't exactly fire someone for that. I also heard him bragging about something he did on Tinder once, but I didn't hear the whole thing. I wouldn't be surprised in the least if he was bragging about sending girls dong pics, though. Anyway, what got him fired instantly was when he started hitting on a girl at work. She told him no, so he threw a stapler at her head. Instant termination. Bragging about gender-based harassment definitely falls under the can be fired for list. Even if it's not happening at work, talking about it openly could easily be considered as creating a hostile work environment as it could easily be overheard as making obscene remarks. A girl in the gas station I work at was fired for punching a customer who was trying to steal a Snickers. She made up this bull's story about how he spit on her or something but the cameras caught everything. Apparently he was an older man on crutches. The CEO of the company got the video and she was fired instantly. I worked at a tourist attraction and we had a small shop that made and sold fudge. Well one of the girls that worked in fudge stole a whole duffel bag of fudge. She was fired the next morning. Thanks to you I now have duffel bag of fudge as a concept. And it will stick with me for all of time. At a small startup. We found that one of our junior developers had a Twitter account where he tweeted all day long about how much the company sucked and how unfair it was that we were making him fix bugs in the software. Found the account at 5pm and he was crap canned before he could even make it back into the office the next morning. Sounds crazy that your junior developer doesn't understand that fixing bugs should, and always will be, a good percentage of his job. A server got caught ripping off people with $3 off coupons. He went to a paper machine, stole all the papers to get the $3 off coupons and was able to pocket the $3 on cash customers. What he did not know was the coupons are numbered and all of his that he turned in were in sequential order. Summer job when I was in high school, I was a lifeguard at a country club. Some hotshot all state swimmer worked with me and acted like he owned the place. He never did anything other than check out the women who came to the pool. We guarded on rotation and it was now his turn to be in the high chair. Not too long after, a little girl almost drowned cause Phelps up there fell asleep. Fired immediately. 
She didn't want to help me do the store windows displays because she could break a nail doing it. I thought she was kidding but no she was dead serious. She was mad at me for firing her. She didn't showed up for work. Didn't call or anything. She was mad at me for firing her. She stole from the store. Yes she was also mad at me for firing her. He spit on the floor. Inside. I wasn't the one who fired him but he was still mad at me for not defending him. It's like living in the twilight zone. Who raised those people? Not an employer, but a sort of manager. I worked at a large mechanic shop as a glorified janitor in college. I worked cleaning stuff or refurbishing old parts, but sometimes turned wrenches as a mechanic when it got busy. One summer got really busy, so I was being a mechanic more than cleaning and the place went to crap. To make up for it, my boss hired some high school kids and had me train them. Easy peasy. After that, I was supposed to dole out a chores list every morning to them. One kid was lazy, and my boss knew it, so he told me to give him the harder chores, to break him in, which actually is how I go good at my job in the first place. A chore that needed done one day was to weed whack the property, which was rather large. It was most definitely the hardest chore that day. Told the kid to it, and he went off. An hour later, one of the other kids approached me and said the lazy kid tried to pawn off his task to him because he didn't want to do it because he was above the other new hires. Boss didn't take too kindly to that and fired him on the spot. I held a temp agency job to put up some warehouse shelves. They asked me to weed whack their whole property, about 4 acres. I did it but it took about 3 hours. The guy I was reporting to handed me a $50 cash bonus on the spot for doing it without complaining. I, I was cajoled and convinced to hire my then GF sister's boyfriend to help out in my old business refurbishing buildings. It was just 2 weeks work, so I hired him. What's the worst that could happen? All he had to do was fetch and carry tools, and certain bits of product. Nothing heavy, nothing tricky. Just fetch me that hammer, get the ladders, see that timber, put it on the trestle so I can cut it etc. By the third day it had all got on top of him. Fetching hammers is tricky work, obviously. So he decided to go to a house near where we were working and get out of his head on drugs and drink. I hadn't seen him for a bit so I go look for him, and find him with his eyes going in seemingly different directions. Sitting on an armchair with powder on his nose, some weed in one hand and a can of beer in the other. He was off his freaking head. I sacked him, but I even tried to help him by saying to tell everyone that the company decided we didn't need an extra guy anymore. However, this was not good enough. Number. So he told his GF I just didn't like him and had fired him for no reason. She then got on to her parents. I then had my GF, her sister, and their parents all giving me crap. This berating quickly stopped once I flipped my crap and told them what really happened. Congratulations. Now not only did he prove he was a slacker, he also looked a drunken druggie who had to lie to cover it all up. I have no idea what he thought would come of it. Idiot. Never hire friends or family. Always take a pic. We have video recorders and download the violation onto a stick drive for unemployment requests for benefits. Sounds like yours is a smaller business but it can save you from lawsuits as well. You might scroll to the bottom of the comments for an unusual term we had that I posted. Cameras unfortunately only recorded the truck. I worked in a call center. One guy was particularly salty one day and left while telling a buddy he was going to burn the place down one day. Someone else overheard him, and he was gone the next day. You always want to burn the call center you work in. People who claim they aren't crazy after working in a call center are either idiots or liars. I wasn't actually around for this, but I heard all about it. A guy at a car dealership I used to work at got a promotion that he probably wasn't ready for, and the stress was getting to him. One day he approached the service manager about getting something done quickly for a vehicle that just sold. When the manager told him that they were too busy to fit it in that day, he snapped and grabbed him by the throat. Took two guys to pull him off. He got sent home for the rest of the day, and in the morning, he came in for just long enough to clear out his office. Apparently he is at another dealer and doing much better now. I travel to different dealerships for work and I'm actually kinda surprised he get fired for this. I've seen full on fist fights not result in that. Was a manager at a sales call center. Girl would have two headsets on. 
one for work and the other for her unemployed gf that wanted to talk to her all the time to make sure she wasn't at work cheating on her. Funny thing is, she got fired for watching movie trailers on her computer which was right in front of a security camera. She was watching the trailers so she could tell her girlfriend what movie she saw so she could go and cheat on her for 2 hours. When I was a manager in a call center in my late teens, I walked past a member of staff smoking herb with his mates outside the office. I wouldn't have minded, it was sort of the done thing in that place, but the thing was he'd called in sick that day and when I walked past him he said that if I told anyone he'd freak me up, so I sacked him. Lots of people asking for more info or calling bulls on me being a manager in my teens. This was a real cowboy operation, cold calling selling telecoms to businesses in South Wales. I started working there at 17 and was there 6 months before being promoted to telesales manager. I was inexplicably good at my job, so I think they just wanted to keep hold of me. This company would get 10-15 new starts every Monday, with the expectation that 2-5 of them were still working there by Friday, then repeat the process on Monday. In hindsight I think it must have been some sort of money laundering scam. The MD would come to the office once every couple of months and take the managers out to get drunk and do a lot of C. He was also much more interested in getting new staff through the door than actual sales or income. I left after about 18 months to go to uni, and the business disappeared shortly after. When this incident happened, I went back upstairs and had a good laugh about it with the other managers. They asked why I didn't sack him there and then, and I responded that I didn't think it was in my job role. They handed me the phone and told me to call him and tell him not to come back. We put it on speakerphone and could hear his mates laughing in the background. He called me a C and hung up on me. Never saw him again. 10th grade teacher, testing new hires in a classroom setting. Wednesday was a guy I already wasn't a big fan of. He spent a lot of time trying to be the cool guy who doesn't care. Asking about how many vacation days he has and when he can take them in the days immediately following getting his job. Making fun of the teachers who dress formally for their job. News flash bud, we have a dress code as well. And just a general nonchalance that was totally inappropriate. So this hire is having his classroom day, and he writes something on a piece of scrap paper and slides it onto a student's desk with his back turned thinking I didn't see. I thought maybe he was trying to tell her something without embarrassing her, like maybe she had her fly down, had started her period, or even was just working from the wrong chapter of the book. I took him aside rather than calling him out in case that was the situation. I said what did you just hand to that student point blank. Without skipping a beat, my cell phone number. I walked right back in there and got the paper from the confused and uncomfortable looking girl to verify this and sure enough, he had. With a smiley face, I asked him what gave him the nerve and he said come on man, this is high school. You've been there right? One look and you know she's way past puberty. If there's grass on the infield, play ball. We filed a police report and sent him packing. Worked at a daycare. Employee told 4. Year old get your hands off your pee in front of the district manager. She was fired on the spot and I had to rearrange staff for the rest of the day. At a dealership I was at this really fat lady said the car seat was uncomfortable and the salesman said well they don't really make car seats for people of your carriage. He was immediately brought into the office and left that day. He was right but you can't say that out loud to a customer. A good salesperson could spin that in their favor to sell a bigger car with more space. A guy went missing and an hour later a manager found him sleeping in his car with a bottle of liquor in one hand and his dong in the other. Hard liquor, soft dong. Not an employer, had a new hire in our IT help desk on day one decided it was okay to take a 45 minute bathroom break, a 2 hour lunch break without informing his supervisor. Day 2, in the middle of training decides to break out a massive bowl of chili and beans and proceeds to eat it. Not a big deal I guess, but that's what breaks and lunch breaks are for. Next in the middle of a phone support call with another technician talking to a user over a help desk ticket he proceeds to fall asleep and begins snoring into the microphone with his trainer and the end user still on the call. Needless to say there was no day 3. I was going to say day 1 seemed like there was a good chance it was just nerves. But day 2 he done fricked up. Had a member of my leadership tell multiple team members that she had to watch a video of her ex-BF jerking off so she could get wet enough to put a tampon in. 
worked at a major corporation. Guy had his name title on his Facebook page. He proceeded to go on an extremely xenophobic tirade in one of his Facebook statuses. He was fired the next day. My brother did something similar. Had a bad day at work so he went on Facebook and posted a rant about killing his boss. Got fired the next day. He's not exactly the pride of the family. My second day as kitchen manager at a restaurant. Typically front of house firings would be the for manager or grams. But I was only manager on a slow night, and a table wanted a drink made and the server in question couldn't find the bartender. Thankfully one of the speciality drinks for our house so I could make it out of our book. I still can't find bartender. Another drink comes in half an hour later. Still no bartender. As I'm trying to mix the drink, I can't find our rail tequila. So I go get a new one and see our bartender coming out of the bathroom with her jacket on. Roll my eyes. Tell her we're out of tequila. Hand her the bottle and let her finish the drink. I, being naive and an optimist, just tell her we need to talk later. Intending to lecture about long breaks. One of our servers is the daughter of the store owner and knows the password for the cameras. She checks them and sees a bartender take the tequila and go to the bathroom, where she apparently spent half an hour drinking tequila. Obviously fired on the spot, but if you're going to steal liquor from a restaurant, why would you take it from the rail? I was in the office with a guy who was on the phone with a new roommate. I heard the roommate ask if he wanted her to pick up some coffee or anything from the store. The guy said nah, I just take the coffee and filters from the office and bring them home. Did I mention I was the manager in charge of the office? Amazing what I found out about what he pulled off during his two months with us. That is oddly specific to ask on the phone, and specifically stupid to comment on at work. Also if you get the free coffee taken away like that, heck hath no fury strong enough. <laughs> Left work one day without permission to go kill his wife. You need permission to leave work to kill your wife. Totally unprofessional. Taught at a school for troubled kids, basically teenagers with very adult crimes on their records already. Kid leaves the ground for lunch and then proceeds to show up to my class 30 minutes late. We found out the next day he had went and robbed a local convenience store and killed the clerk with his bare hands. He was fired from class. New hire was there less than a week. The owner came in to give us a rundown of a big new project we were starting. New guy kept talking. Owner told him to shut the frick up. As soon as we were sent on our way new guy starts talking crap about the owner saying he should meet him in the parking lot to fight. Owner called him right back in and fired him on the spot. I was a manager at a software company and was in an email thread. Or maybe it was instant messaging. I don't remember. Instant messaging. I think. This was many years ago now. There was a technical issue going on. Three of us were involved. I was overseeing it. And we had two technical operations guys who were working it. One of these guys had been having some serious pain issues. And he was home. On some fairly serious pain medication. I think. But not so serious that it was an excuse for what happened. As it turned out. Ultimately. He started basically bullying the other guy. Calling him names. Making fun of his weight, cursing at him, etc. I told him to cut it out, that he was way out of line, and then something weird happened. To sort of give him an out, and to maybe make the other guy feel less offended by it. I reminded him that this guy was at home and on some pretty aggressive pain meds, and he probably didn't know what he was saying. So to please forgive him and we could talk about it later. Then the guy said, no, I know exactly what I'm saying. And then he continued to berate him. Well that was pretty easy from there. I took a screenshot of the messages and sent them to his boss. The developers worked for me, but he didn't. I had a conversation with that boss the next morning and the guy was fired by lunchtime. He didn't even fight it. He knew that he was nailed, and he didn't blame me for what I had done. He completed rolled over on the whole thing, and I never heard from him again. I managed the sales floor of a call center for a couple of years in my early 20s. I didn't stick with it because as it turns out, I really don't like reprimanding firing people. I only fired someone 3 times. Employee 1. Somehow managed to slide by on the background check to get hired. After his second month there, he lets me know that he is going to need some time off to deal with legal matters. 
Those legal matters involved child abuse sexual offenses that he facilitated involving an outside party and his very young and mentally handicapped son. The freaking court case was all over the internet and everything. Obviously. Fired. I had a field day reaming HR over that one. Employee 2. Couldn't figure out how to mute her headset. One incident involved her having a discussion with her friend cubicle neighbor about how drunk they had gotten the night before. While a customer was listening. Fortunately. Customer thought it was hilarious. I let it go. Second incident was a different story. She said some pretty racist crap about a customer with an accent that the customer heard. Not funny. Not acceptable. After I got a complaint reviewed the call with QA. I fired her mid-shift. Employee 3. Drove into the parking lot drunk as frick and hit another employee's car. Obviously. My hands are kinda tied there. The stories involving times when I really should have fired someone are arguably better. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.